Hey guys, I'm Nick and on this episode of The Scram Line, I am somewhere really special. So today for me has been all about the Steve Jobs tour, the Apple tour. Because for those of you who don't know, I'm a huge Apple fanboy and I thought I, I really want to come and see these places and last time I was here I didn't get to see them. So at the moment I'm in uh, Palo Alto I think it is and uh, I'm just going to make sure there's no one around me watching. Uh, I am in the neighbourhood of where Steve Jobs lived. So where he lived before he died. I also visited uh, Apple HQ in Cupertino which was really cool but unfortunately I wasn't allowed to go in. Uh, there was security there and there was security at this house as well. So for those of you, probably not very many watching this channel, wanting to go and visit his house, uh, there's security. So uh, he was kind enough to let me take a little bit of video so I'll show you guys how beautiful his house was. And here's a little bit of Apple HQ as well. On this episode of the Scram Line, I'm showing you guys how to make these really cool... Well, it's a, it's a donut cake, so it's like baked donuts. I've made baked donuts before on this channel. But I wanted to make something like even cooler than that and make a donut cake. So these are the ingredients you're going to need to make it. Okay guys, so for this recipe I'm back outside. It's my final day in San Francisco and I've come back to my favourite place, the Ferry Market Building and I absolutely love this place. I did a video on it in a previous video, I think it was two videos ago, so go and check that out. Okay, so for this recipe you're going to need some plain flour, baking powder, sugar, milk, cream, vanilla extract, white chocolate, which I'm going to melt, softened butter, some freeze-dried berries, or you can use sprinkles, sour cream, eggs, and vegetable oil. So you can find the recipe on my website, thescramline.com. Okay guys, start off by preheating your oven to 180 degrees Celsius. So the first thing you want to do is you want to spray your donut tray very, very well. Now you can grab these online, on eBay, on Amazon. I found mine at my local department store. They're not that expensive either, so they're pretty easy to get. Spray these really, really well guys because it makes it much easier down the track to get these things out. Okay, set that aside. So we're going to start off by putting our dry ingredients into our mixing bowl. Put that on low speed and let it mix. Moving on to our milk, we're going to add our eggs, oil, sour cream and vanilla extract. And give that a good whisk. Now you can add your softened butter to your dry ingredients and let that mix until it's nice and crumbly and sand-like. Then slowly add in your milk mixture. Give the bowl a scrape and then mix it for a final 20 seconds on low speed. Okay, you can go ahead and add your sprinkles and give that a little mix. Don't mix it too much, otherwise your colours will bleed and make your batter look grey. So I'm using a small ice cream. So I'm using a small ice cream scoop to scoop my batter into my donut tray, and I'm putting two scoops into each. and I'm putting two scoops into each donut hole. You can pop those in the oven for 20 minutes. As soon as they come out of the oven, they just pop right out. So let them cool down completely before moving on to the next step. So while those are cooling down, we're gonna move on to making our ganache. So it's as simple as popping your chocolate and cream into a microwave safe bowl, popping it in the microwave for 20 seconds at a time and mixing it each time until it's nice and smooth. So I've separated my ganache into two small bowls and I'm going to add a little bit of food gel colouring to these to get them pink and blue 
Now, of course, you can use any color you like. Our donuts have cooled down and it's time to put this thing together. So it's as easy as dipping your donuts into the ganache, popping them onto a plate or a tray. Now I'm making mine with six donuts on each layer. You can make it as big or as small as you like. I probably wouldn't go smaller than five donuts. Now make sure that they're nice and even and you can drizzle these with white chocolate or you can really do anything you like to them. Now make sure that when you do the next layer, you're directly placing them on top in the center of each donut. It's very important that you do this, otherwise you're gonna end up with a kind of lopsided donut cake and then you don't want that. So kind of think of it as brick laying. So I thought it'd be a nice contrast to add some freeze dried strawberries on top of my blue ganache to make it look extra special. Okay, so now you can put on your next layer. Now how delicious does that look guys? This thing is so much fun to make. It looks amazing and it is super easy to serve. So it's perfect for a kid's birthday party and basically you're giving them each one donut. Now the good thing about this is you can decorate it any way you like. And that's pretty much it. Okay guys, so that was my donut cake. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit, I've got my, my Starbucks by the way, it's empty. I've had like about a thousand of these every day that I've been here. Uh, I love it, it's especially like with weather like this where it's really hot, it's perfect to cool down. Um, so if you liked the video, hit the like button, subscribe, share it with your family and friends. Recipe will be on my website at scramline.com, which is where all of my recipes live. So here is a preview of my last video. I can't remember which side it's going to be. Uh, just click on that and to be taken to more deliciousness. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next episode of the Scramline.